Today, I'll be sharing with you a fantastic online platform to create and edit videos. Before we start, for the sake of disclosure, FlexClip did give me access to a premium account for free for the purpose of creating this video. However, the opinions and views shared in this video are my own and they haven't seen this video before being published. The platform I'll be showing you today is called FlexClip, a browser-based video editor and I've been playing around with it for the last few weeks and I believe this is a powerful tool for editing videos for schools, social media, YouTube, etc. Let's start off with pricing. There's a free plan which enables you to export one minute of video without a watermark. However, there is a way to get longer videos with a watermark, which I'll show you later. You're limited to 12 projects though, but you can always delete projects when you're done with them to counteract this. This is the plan that I think most people will go for and should go for. However, there are a $5 and $8 per month plan options if you want no watermark and the higher qualities and would like to access some more pro level features such as custom fonts, background removal for photos, custom watermarks, more use of stock footage and cloud storage. Firstly, when you go to create a video, you'll notice that there are a plethora of different templates for you to customize and use and these cover a range of different themes and niches. I think it's super helpful for people who haven't necessarily done much editing before and want to create a quick video that looks super professional. You've got things for birthdays, educational videos, promotions, intros, YouTube, and so much more. You can preview templates by hovering over it and clicking on the preview button at the bottom. And if you want to go with that template, all you need to do is click the orange customize button at the bottom right. However, if you choose to not use one of the templates and want to create your own video from scratch, head on up to the start from scratch button at the top left. This platform is great for beginners or intermediate video creators since it gives you the choice from either timeline mode, which gives you more control over the way that everything looks and is positioned, or you have the storyboard mode, which is a much easier drag and drop style method. I'm going to go with the timeline mode. Then it will take you to your main editor, which is super intuitive in its design with your preview shown here, your video timeline or tracks shown at the bottom here, and everything else organized into little folders or tabs at the left hand side. By everything being organized and separated out, there isn't a huge learning curve to the entire software, making it incredibly easy to use. To start, we want to add some media to our project. You have two options. You can either head on into the media tab and upload your own photos and videos for you to use, or you can alternatively use stock photos and videos in your project. And FlexClip has over 4 million photos and videos for you to access and use. And you can simply drag and drop these into your timeline where necessary. Or if you want to have it as an overlay in your video, simply hover over it and click on the picture and picture icon at the bottom left before you're able to adjust it with your filters and cropping, animations, etc. To adjust the length of clips, simply go to the edge of a clip and drag it to the point where you want it to end. And to adjust any overlays, all you want to do is double click into a clip and then do the same process. To split clips, simply head on up to the top of your timeline and click on the split clip icon over here. And then you're able to now cut out any mistakes that you make, etc. Next, to add transitions between clips, head on to the middle of the two clips you want to add a transition to and click on this transition square. And then you can select from one of the myriad of different transitions that Flex Clip has to offer. And with a large percentage of these, you're able to adjust the duration of each one, the direction of the transition, as well as the different colors used within them. To add text, head on over to the text tab and choose either from the static text or you can choose from one of their designs. I'm going to go into modern titles and choose this one here. If you want to add any shapes or on-screen animations, for example, a subscribe button, head on into the elements tab over here 
or search for the thing that you need. To add it in, all you need to do is click on it and then you're able to resize it to where you want it to go. Next, let's head on into the Overlays tab. In here, you can add things for an intro, quotes, titles, lower thirds, contact details, etc. And these all have their own individual background or can be placed over the top of your video. You can again customize the colors by clicking on a part and then changing the color from one of the preset colors or you can add your own custom color. Next, you have the option to add music or voiceover to your videos. You can either do this by clicking on the add audio option at the bottom underneath all of your clips and uploading something from your computer or device, or you can go into the music tab and search through all of the stock music that FlexClip has to offer. And you can search through this by mood as well as by genre. Overall, I think that the music choice is okay. I would personally recommend using a dedicated music platform like Pixabay Music, YouTube Audio Library, or another copyright-free music platform since their music choice will be a lot more varied. I've linked a few examples that you can use and try out in the description box below. And once you're happy with your video, head on up to the export option at the top right and you can either choose whether you export the video as a video or as a GIF file. Within the video settings, you're able to choose the quality and resolution of the video. On the free plan, you can only export videos at the lowest quality without a watermark as long as your video is less than one minute. However, you have the option to export a video for free with, Flex, with the FlexClip watermark. And this enables you to use pro features for free and enables you to export your videos in the highest resolution. So I'd always recommend exporting your videos in 1080p. And then once you're ready, click the export button. However, if you're on the free plan, click on the export video with a watermark button, particularly as the watermark isn't that big. So that's a brief introduction to FlexClip, a brilliant free online video editing platform. I'll have a link for you to register in the description box below. And let me know in the comments if you'd like more tutorials on some of the features that I didn't necessarily manage to fully cover or go into detail with. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.